Hi, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you. And as a person that has attended with both my USGS hat and my ESRI hat, the ESRI user conferences since 1998, I'm here to offer my five tips for making the most out of the event. This is a very exciting, stimulating, awe-inspiring event that I'm glad that you're thinking about attending because truly it's one of the most useful and most exciting and inspiring events that I've ever attended in my entire professional career. I would say number one, attend as many young professional network events as you can, even if you're not a young professional, because the energy, the vitality of that young YPN young professional network community will inspire you. I'm hosting, for example, an education table on Sunday night at the Marriott Terrace for YPN, and there will be many other tables where you can interact with ESRI staff, the Young Professionals Network, and others. Number two, spend time in the Sustainable World Showcase. That's new this year for 2022. It's on the north end of the Expo Hall. It's new in the name, but it's also been a sustainable environmental zone in the past, and it is so inspiring. I mean, you get to see people from nonprofit government agencies, private companies, individuals, and others making a positive difference to make our world more sustainable and resilient. We will host, my team will host an education kiosk there, but there will be many others in that zone. I encourage you to do that, the Sustainable World Showcase. Number three, go to the map gallery, especially early morning where there are no crowds and, and take in the breadth and depth of what people are doing with mapping and GIS to make a positive difference in our world. This is a very lovely, vast exhibit hall with a beautiful sail area you can look out at and see the sky above, but the maps that people are hosting either in paper form or in digital form are truly from local to global scale, literally from agriculture to zoology and every conceivable field in between doing, making wiser decisions with GIS and the results of their work. So I would say go to the map gallery, go there frequently. It's, it's too big to take in all at once. University is number four, will be hosting tables describing their programs in the academic program fair from 4 to 6 p.m. Monday, just outside Ballroom 20, just south of the map gallery, upper level. But also several universities will have exhibit booths in the expo hall. So be sure to visit those universities as well. We're all lifelong learners in geospatial technology, so it's good to see what universities are offering in terms of their certificate programs, their degree programs, courses, and the ways they're being innovative with GIS. So I'd say that's number four. Number five, our education summit happens Saturday and Sunday primarily, right before the user conference actually begins. The focus there is on teaching and learning with GIS, which is very near and dear to my heart. So if you can possibly get there over the weekend before the main user conference starts, that would be my fifth and final choice. Though I really have to mention the Monday plenary. That is the best day for me. And I hope for you also. Don't get off site on Monday. Be sure to be there and be focused because Jack Dangerman, the ESRI president and CEO, and a variety of users of GIS from all over the world will be speaking. It's, it's a very inspiring time. And we also have students every year on the plenary stage to round things off in the afternoon. And I love that section, especially. That plenary is truly amazing. And sure, you can watch it for those of you that can't attend face-to-face. -face. It's being streamed and you'll be able to watch the archive as well. But if you can get there face-to-face, that's truly a, a way of energizing yourself that, you know what, I'm doing my part in this broader, bigger, more noble goal of making, again, our world more sustainable, healthier, happier, more equitable by using GIS to make smarter, wiser decisions. And that plenary day is, like I said, very inspiring. So it'll energize you, it'll inspire you, you'll get to meet some new people. I would highly encourage that. So I guess that's six that's six recommendations, but I just encourage you to uh, take advantage of all six of those things and then share in the comments what you found to be most valuable. You know, for years I was attending the ESRI conference as a, as a USGS geographer and cartographer. And okay, here's another one. Number seven, I guess now we're up to, but spend a lot of time in the technical workshops. I mean, you're getting the 
workshops from the people that actually develop the tools. They really know what they're talking about and they're good instructors. So spend a lot of time in that, in those technical workshops. Yes, you're in there with a bunch of other people, but you're getting some really, really good instruction and some questions and answers as well. So, and you know, on a related note, there are user presentations at the conference from, again, people doing noble, wonderful GIS work all over the world. So, okay, what am I up to eight things now? But again, looking forward to seeing you at the user conference and I hope these tips and guidelines are helpful. See you there.